Hi everyone, this is Oscar from Underdog and today there's a really short quick physics tip I want to give you. What we're going to be looking at today is phasing in the bass, bass phasing. Have you ever created a track that had a lot of elements going on, a lot of sub bass, a lot of kicks, a lot of all that kind of good stuff, and at some point the kick and the sub bass just wasn't hitting the way you were hoping it was going to be, maybe it sounded a bit hollow, maybe it sounds a bit unpredictable and you're like, oh why, I put so much sub bass in there, why does it sound unpredictable? We're going to explain that right now. If you look at sound waves mathematically, usually when you play two tones at the same time, you can simply add them up and they're going to create a tone that contains both of those tones. And mathematically, it just looks like this. I'll play a low tone and a high tone at the same time and let's look at the waveform, okay? So here we are in Ableton and what I've got is I've got two operators. These are just the simplest of simple synthesizers that can easily output like a clean sine wave just because we're doing physics today okay so the first one we can set the exact frequency by hitting fixed and let's say we play 100 hertz and we look at it on this oscilloscope okay so this is 100 hertz it's 100 times per second going up and down now on the second operator let's also set a fixed frequency and let's put it to 500 hertz like go a long way away and let's see what happens when we play them when we play the second one you can see it vibrates many more times per second and together cool they create like a more complicated waveform that's there but it's always at the same volume it looks really stable now phasing is something that happens when you play two pitches too close to each other like really close to each other something unique starts to happen so i'm going to do that by taking operator two and breaking down the hertz until it is very close to 100 hertz okay and you're going to see the combined signal up on this oscilloscope and you're going to see you're going to see what happens okay look at that see that That phenomenon, that's called beating. And it means that at one po point in time, they're going to be, these two waveforms are gonna be amplifying each other and another point in time, they're gonna be canceling each other out. And they do, they do so in a kind of a cycle like this. So if you want your kick drum to always sound punchy and it's accidentally canceling out with some other bass element, maybe another kick drum or maybe uh, a sub bass element, it might suck all the punch out of your kick drum. Imagine I would program them like I would program a kick drum. Simply every quarter note. Oops. Okay, and we'll play that. Okay, it's creating this weird wavy thing, right? In itself, that's not a huge problem. But what if one of them wasn't always triggered to be exactly in phase with the other one? So they don't always start at the same place. Look what will happen now. Sometimes when they both get triggered, they amplify each other, and sometimes when they both get triggered, they cancel each other out. So when you're choosing elements for the low end, the ultra low end of your track, beware of this, and don't layer too many elements on top of each other, and if they do, just make sure that they're not taking away the punch of the most important elements. And that was it for today. Quick physics. Now you know what phasing is, what beating is, what phase cancellation is, and why you should take care when you're talking about the low elements in your track, specifically because they're the most vulnerable to this. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this information, subscribe to the channel. We're quite a new channel, so every little uh, subscriber helps. If you want to learn more about this stuff in a more structured setting, we have a bootcamp course for beginners and a deep dive course for advanced students. So go to www.underdog.brussels and check out our course selection. My name is Oscar, and have a great day. Cheers. Would you like to try making electronic music? That's what we do at Underdog Electronic Music School, based in Brussels. We offer a program called the Bootcamp Program, which is designed for absolute beginners who want to start having fun making their own music, but who don't have experience yet doing that. We run online classrooms in small groups where you and a real teacher go through 12 classes where you see from A to Z how to make electronic music and how to start having fun. 
you can ask any questions at any moment and you can also focus on the genres and artists that you love so that you can start making the music that you are passionate about. Check out the details on www.underdog.brussels and get in touch for a test session or to sign up for one of the classes. So, until we hear from you, see you online.